Hello and welcome everyone back to the NASCAR 21 Ignition Career Mode. And today we head into Homestead Miami Speedway for the running of the Dixie Vodka 400. Here are your points. Austin Dillon won last time at the Daytona Road Course. And so far our reputation right now, these are our teams that we could go with for next season. That way the team I am more leaning to going is to, the team is, that I plan on going to is Team Penske. And um, to drive the number 33 car there maybe. Or maybe even Joe Gibbs Racing to drive the number 19 for Martrix uh, to replace Martrix Jr. And now let's get into qualifying here at the Dixie Vodka 400 here at Homestead where we'll send it down to Alex Hayden. Alex, take it away. Alex Hayden here to bring you all the action for today's race at Homestead Miami Speedway. This track has gone through different changes over the years, originally starting as a low bank surface when it was introduced, then reconfigured to the current high, progressively banked oval we race at today. Will we see a new face add their name to the trophy, or will we see a repeat winner? cars are gritted, the drivers are ready, and the fans are excited for the command. Let's go trackside. Thank you, Alex Hayden. Now about to get ready here at Homestead. Miami Speedway, the green flag is out. Run away, you're at Homestead. Miami Speedway. Denny Hamlin has the lead going into turn number one. Lap 1 of 13, here comes Christopher Bell, his teammate, trying to make a run there. Here comes Kozlowski here, trying to make a push. What can Kozlowski do now? He wants to run all aggressive. But hey, this is, we're only in the first lap still, and then we'll lead the first lap here in Homestead. Danny Hamlin will lead it over Christopher Bell, Joey Logano, Kurt Busch, and Kevin Harvick. As here comes Christopher Bell. Now to the lead here at Homestead Miami Speedway. Uh, he's going to fall back to second there, but in third place we have Joey Logano. Now this is only lap number two, and these guys are getting a lot. They're really getting aggressive here. Oh, look at Logano here trying to make the move. Keep in mind, Logano had three wins last year, made it into the championship four. His last win came at Kansas last October. And, and, you know, Christopher Bell, this is only his 39th start in his career, and already he's been running pretty well in 2021. Keep in mind, we're lap number three right now. So now I'll go back to your leader here, of Denny Hamlin. We're coming to lap number four. Oh man, here comes Kevin Harvick the third. Harvick's going to be third on this lap here. Let's go to Kevin Harvick now. Let's talk about him. I mean, this season he's been trying to run consistent here. Here he is trying to get his 60th career win. Or 59th career win, excuse me. If he wins this race and then goes on to win another one this year, that'll be his 60th win of his career. Now here comes Denny Hamlin. Or excuse me, Joey Logano trying to take the lead over Denny Hamlin. As Logano, no, will not lead that lap. Harvick is going to come up to second place here. Lap number five. Now Homestead. Yeah, and. No, Logano, he's just going to try to make an aggressive move here. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, lap six for these drivers. Hamlin's leading still. Harvick, this is in second place now. Those are good to your Errol Brimp camera. Go back here, we have a bunch of cars. A four wide there, and around goes Ricky Stenhouse Jr. 
Round goes Ricky Stenhouse Jr. He went around lap number five, six. Man, oh man. Let's see what happened here. Four wide there. Walker made contact with Suarez, and here comes Dylan Walker. Just got into Ricky Stenhouse Jr. So around he went. Man, oh man, look at him. What else he got? They're hitting other cars. Does get back going here. Lap number eight or seven. Can't, can't tell which way I'm going. Well, this will work probably. Denny Hamlin, I believe, is still your leader. Yes, he is still your leader. Coming to lap eight. Man, Hamlin's, he's led all the laps here today. I wouldn't be shocked if he did get the win. He won here last year. And to the lead on the bottom lane is Kevin Harvick in his 21st career NASCAR season. There he goes to the bottom lane now. Lap 8, you're coming out just a few laps to go. Coming to lap 9. Harvick won here in 2014, winning one on the winning NASCAR Cup Series championship. All right, guys, oh, Harvick's going to take the lead, and Harvick will become the second different driver to lead a lap in this race. Four laps to go now from Homestead Miami Speedway. What can Harvick do now to hold on to Denny Hamlin? Hold him off. Logano there is in second place with Truex right behind. Keep in mind, this might be Truex's final season. He does not know where he's going to go for 2022. It's uncertain, as well as Kevin Harvick. This is a contract year for him. Three laps to go now in Homestead. Here comes Logano. That bottom lane challenging Kevin Harvick. Keep in mind, with just three to go, so what can Harvick do now to hold on? By the way, this will be the first Homestead race to finish under daylight. Three wide nearly for the race lead. The finish in daylight since 2010 when Jimmy Johnson won his fifth consecutive NASCAR title. Carl Edwards won the victory lane that day in a Ford. Well, now we just got two laps to go for Kevin Harvick. The racing of the day has been really exciting. Here comes Denny Hamlin now in the third place. Sprague is lost to him right behind. What can they do now? Dylan Walker leading that second lane, I believe. I cannot tell. I think it's Chase Elliott leading that second lane there. Yes, it is. All right, guys. White flag is about to come out for Kevin Harvick. White flag in the air for Kevin Harvick. Trying to get a career win number 59. Trying to get a 60th career win. Uh, and the next race he does win. Like, I don't trust the side drop. He gets all over his back bumper. Oh, man. Down the back stretch we go. Logano, not going to make it clear. Out turn three and four. His 2020 dominance continues. Kevin Harvick wins in 2021. He wins it at Homestead. Congratulations, Kevin Harvick. He is a race winner. God will get second place. Hamlin third. There's the rest of your grid there. We got 19th position. Trying to keep it that run of top 20s here. And rounding out the field is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. And uh, now let's check out the playoff standings. Now your playoff standings, Kevin Harvick locks himself in as well as Austin Dillon, Matt the Bidetto. Austin Dillon won the Daytona Road Course, Matt the Bidetto won the Daytona 500. Here's the rest of your playoff grid. Uh, now kind of making it re more realistic now as now the two Spire cars are out. Um, Bowman right now is in 16th place. Kyle Busch is right there. Bowman gained nine spots there it looks like. A bunch of spots and we move up three spots from where we were. We were 25th in points going to this race. Now we're going into Las Vegas. We're 22nd in points. Actually 
first. Yeah, because Eric Armour and Cole Custer are tied for points there on three off of there. And here's the guys that are out on the outside looking in. Corey LaDroy, Justin Haley, Bubba Wallace, Eric Armour, Cole Custer, and me. So those are the drivers looking out. Um, next race will be at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway for the running of the Pennzoil 400 for presented by Jiffy Loop. Will we have a fourth different winner there? We'll figure it out. See you guys in the next episode at Las Vegas for the Pennzoil 400 presented by Jiffy Loop. Peace.